It's the ninth edition of the Nigerian Economic Outlook, an annual event organized by the King's Court, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. A team of experts in the business field are here to deliberate on the nation's economic outlook in the year 2023. The Director General of the Budget Office of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Ben Akabweze, who is also the lead pastor of King's Court, prepares the audience for the issues to be discussed. The purpose of, of this conversations around the elections is totally non-partisan. The purpose is simply to arm, to equip, you know, Nigerians with, you know, the knowledge that they need to be able to make informed choices in this election. The opportunities, implications of 2023 macroeconomic landscape and Finance Act is the area of focus for the lead speaker, Tola Adeyemi. What factors will shape the 2023 uh, macroeconomic environment? I believe that these will be shaped by global and domestic dynamics. The attendant issues around energy, around food, will also continue into 2023, creating inflation responded to with higher interest rates and we expect to see muted growth. For him, the issue of security and oil theft must be addressed head on by the incoming government. Um, it also means we've got to improve security and thereby encourage the oil companies to invest in the oil sector. The new government that comes in is going to have to be very decisive on the issue of oil subsidy. If they end it by June, then we have a realistic chance of the budget we're looking at. How bad is it? How bad is the situation? We talk about debt and we're afraid. Of Channel's television business anchor, Ini John Mekwa, moderates a panel session where she engages speakers on GDP to debt ratio, Nigeria's revenue, among other economic issues. We have projected expenditure of 21.8 trillion naira. In that projection, there is a projection of 8.3 trillion naira as non-debt recurrent expenditure. We are dealing with an, a, a food inflation rate of 24%, driven by the fact that the, dry, the price of tuba, cereals, and other staples that are produced locally have all jumped up. I think just focusing on tax all the time is just a lack of creativity. If we're a bit more innovative in this country, we'll find other means to get taxes. The people and businesses pay so much, government collects so little because we have created leakages, corruption, wholesale leakages in the middle. From your interactions with Nigerians, are you, uh, are you confident that this election will be decided by informed voters? Another Channel's TV anchor and National Assembly correspondent, Seri Kumi, moderates the second panel session on citizenship responsibility ahead of this year's general elections. What I think many people want now is just somebody that will come in and set us on the right path. Let's stop doing the silly things we've been doing for generations. Let's stop funding refineries that never work. Let's not have divergent exchange rates. Let's not... Let's not be funding uh, our national television authority with 7 billion naira every year, of which 6.2 billion out of that is only for salaries. We focus a lot on the president. They get away literally with a lot of stuff. And so this election cycle, we're voting 28 governors, not 36. And so also because of the noise, a lot of the governorship candidates are be below the radar as well. People are not really as engaged. So demanding that government officials behave differently, that they serve you, that they actually work for you, are things that we don't teach, but yet we expect citizens to know that they can demand better. We need a direction, and that direction starts from the first thing. You know, we talk about revenue problem, expenditure problem, their problem. The biggest problem we have is the trust problem. The people don't trust their leaders. Even if I say you increase for subsidy, I'm fine to take that, and which is the same point Dr. Abba was making. Are you making your own adjustment on your side? In just over a month, 
Nigerians will go to the polls to decide who leads the country in the next four years, as they continue to expect a more robust economic performance.